Let's get started with this short after school workout. For this exercise, you're going to clasp your hands together holding them out in front of you. Keep your legs straight and also when you're coming up, don't think of pulling up. Think of punching your fists forward. Also, keep in mind that if you don't feel your abs burning, that means you are not bringing your back up high enough. Make sure that you keep your neck up, almost forming a diagonal instead of down. The first 10 seconds of this plank will be regular, so during this time, just work on keeping your form. Round your upper back, leaning your body forward a little. Straight legs, look ahead about 2 inches, and tuck your butt in. Make sure when you're doing the other 20 seconds to keep this form at all times. This is a pretty simple workout, but it took me the longest to learn. Keep your legs straight and bring your legs down slowly and try not to touch the ground. It's okay to have a small arch in your back, just make sure the arch isn't too big because otherwise you'll be using another part of your body to control your legs, which isn't the goal. These are called Russian twists. This will help tone the sides of your abs. What I'm about to tell you is very important. When you're twisting, you need to do a complete rotation in order to actually feel the burn. So to ensure that, I like to touch my elbows to the ground and also make sure that my chest is pointed in the complete opposite direction each time. Lastly, just keep your legs off the ground and you should be set. You've made it to the last workout. Great job. Notice how far my back is off the ground. Once you get more comfortable, you want to bring it lower. Again, you want to clasp your hands in front of you and keep your chin up. You're going to cross one foot over the other and think about extending and lengthening your legs out as far as you can. Also, I like to point my feet in all my ab workouts just because I feel like it gives me better balance. And yes, I have finally finished. I have three flexibility features this week. She worked on her scorpion and improved a lot. She was able to pull her scorpion a few inches higher from using my scorpion video. Here's the next feature. She's very close to her wall split and she told me that she uses my stretching routine videos and I can see her progress through dedication and hard work. The last feature goes to Emily. First, I just have to say, wow, she has improved so much by using my videos. She went from a very low scorpion to a stunning needle. I hope she can inspire you to work hard and know that it does take hard work and persistency, but it is definitely worth it.